Good morning, Pirates. I hope you're having a great morning so far and ready for another amazing day full of learning. Um, today is Wednesday, December 9th. Um, tomorrow's my wife's birthday, so I better get her a gift, huh? Um, today, I'll be taking her to dinner, though, so teachers are like, oh, oh my goodness, he hasn't got... Well, I'll get her something tonight, but I'm taking her to dinner tomorrow. So uh, today, today for lunch... We're going to be having Tony's pepperoni pizza, steamed broccoli, diced pears, and cheddar goldfish. We are on Essentials Color Yellow this week. And then uh, next week, and leading all the way into our winter break, we will be on green starting next week until we head to winter break. Uh, we do have a special birthday today. All of our birthdays are special. This is Avisi. If you don't know Avisi, she's a pretty awesome kid. Um, Avisi's turning 10 today. She's in Mrs. Williamson's class. And Avisi, I just want to say I know how hard you work in your schoolwork, and I'm very, very proud of you. You're going to make an excellent, excellent young lady someday, so don't forget us here at Madelon, okay? Um, today is also Weird and Wacky Fact Wednesday, and so um, I just want to give you a weird and wacky fact about this thing. And Do you know what that is? Hopefully you're saying that that is the earth. Um, that is where we live. Actually, if you look right here, that's about where we're at, right there, where you can see that cursor. Um, and so I wanted to talk to you about why, because it's winter time almost. It's going to be winter before we do another weird and wacky fact. So um, winter is beginning. And did you know um, why it's cold in winter? Why does it get cold in winter and hot in the summer? And your first thought might be, well, Mr. Heiser, it gets cold in the winter because the sun is further away, which is not true. Actually, the sun is closest to the earth in the beginning of January, which is basically like the coldest part of the year for us. So why is it then that it gets cold in the winter? Well, it's because of the way the earth is tilted. The earth is on an axis, axis that's tilted. And so even though the sun is close to the earth in the winter time, for us, we are still far away from the sun, us personally, even though the sun is actually closer to the earth. So uh, be thinking about that. Like why in the world um, is the sun closer but yet it's colder. And that's why, because the earth is on an axis. So just an interesting fact. And, you know, I'll continue to challenge you with some facts and things like that. Um, continue to challenge yourself this week. Make sure that you do your best in everything you do. Have perseverance, which means working through some struggles that you might be having um, through your day, even if it's just with your friends or with you know, some things you're working on in math or trying to figure out your science project, things like that. Maybe even working with your parents. Sometimes that can be tough too. But always remember that uh, you should try to stay up for the challenge the best you can. Have a good positive attitude and continue to persevere through things, okay? You can do it. You can do it. Um, let's take a few seconds to focus on our breathing today. It's Wednesday. It's a beautiful day, my favorite day of the week. Let's go ahead, big deep breath in and hold it and breathe out. That was a good first breath for me. Big deep breath in and hold it. Wow, oh, it feels so good. And breathe out. Last time, big, as big as you can. Big deep breath in. And hold it and breathe out. Great job with that. Our teachers are so lucky to have you here. And we are very lucky. Uh, you are very lucky to go to a school that you are loved and cared for. Remember, your number one job here is to learn. So be where you're supposed to be. Do what you're supposed to do. And act how you're supposed to act. Have a wonderful Wednesday, everybody. Oh, one more thing. Um, lost and found. We have some lost and found issues. Um, if you are loot, if you have lost anything, uh, make sure to check um, the lost and found area, um, and we can help you out with that. If you're not sure where that is, ask a teacher, or ask somebody in the office, and we'll help you out. We're starting to have some so or some socks, not socks, hats and gloves and 
and jackets and sweatshirts and things like that. So we want to help you out. We want to help mom and dad out. Okay. All right. Um, so here's the video for our next drawing for the scooter. Go Pirates. Yeah. You are really good at that, Mr. Thank Farr. You. I practice a lot. All right, so I'm going to draw a name, right? Correct, yes. Okay, for our next scooter name. Hold on. Students, you must go. Go. Right. Thank you. We'll give it away. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to dig in here. Oh, yeah, they're hanging around the corner, aren't they? No, nope, they're good. Okay, here we go. They're being good third graders. Yes, our gold days, 12 days of giving. Actually, uh, I think I think I have a better idea if it's okay with you. I yeah. think I might have. I think, in your hat? I, I, I have something Mr. in here. I think this Farley? might help us. I found something in my hat. Awesome. Let's turn that over so we can see it. Okay. Today's the winner, winner today is, is Maddox, Maddox Ransom. Ms. Rulong's class. Congratulations, Maddox. Good job, Congratulations, buddy. man. All right. Hats off to you. Yeah. <laughs> Good one.